Good morning. Our main story this morning. Uh, there's been more tough rhetoric from the British government on Russia over its continued support for the Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. The Defence Secretary Sir Michael Fallon has sharply criticised the Kremlin, saying it was responsible for every civilian death in Syria last week. Meanwhile, the Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson has pulled out of a planned visit to Moscow and is seeking support for a new move to end the conflict. Let's talk to our political correspondent, Susanna Mendonca. She's in our newsroom for us this morning. Susanna, good morning to you. Uh, the rhetoric then is uh, getting tougher from the British government, but whether or not the Russian government will take any notice remains to be seen. And that's a key question. You're certainly hearing a much tougher stance from Michael Fallon in the uh, Sunday Times. He makes these comments where he basically says that uh, by proxy, Russia is responsible for all of those deaths that we saw in uh, Syria last week. And he's saying that what Russia needs to do is it needs to uh, bring Assad to heel. It needs to exert pressure on him. Uh, and Michael Fallon also says that Russia is uh, failing in its, uh, in its obligation. Uh, back in 2013, it was supposed to then uh, deal with uh, trying to destroy all of the chemical weapons that Syria held. And uh, Michael Fallon is basically saying that Russia has failed to do that. So what the British government wants to see is a situation in which Assad is no longer the leader in Syria, where there is some kind of uh, political solution, but also where Russia actually intervenes and, uh, and puts pressure on Assad. Now, at the same time, Michael Fallon has renewed his support for the uh, US action in Syria. He said that, uh, that, President, uh, um, that President Trump uh, took the right action. It was a coordinated approach and that was something that he had to do because of the severity of the situation that we saw with those gas attacks in Syria last week. But at the same time, the uh, Foreign Secretary, um, Boris Johnson, was supposed to be going to Russia tomorrow. That trip has been cancelled. He's been criticised for that by the Liberal Democrats, who have described him as uh, behaving like an American poodle uh, and basically handing uh, dealings with Russia over to the Americans because the Americans will be going there later on in the week. But what we've heard from uh, Boris Johnson's team is that he is now trying to work on some kind of coordinated effort. The uh, G seven uh, group of industrialized nations is going to be meeting in Italy on Tuesday. We understand that he's trying to get them to uh, come up with a coordinated response that they can put to Russia and really apply more pressure. And we'll follow that later in the week. Susanna, thanks very much indeed.